CCTV Camera World is proud to provide support for products purchased from our website. If you purchased your product from another vendor, please contact the vendor you purchased from for further assistance. In this video, I'm going to show you how to reset a wireless camera in NVR. I've already gone through how to reset the cameras, so but for completeness sake, I'll do it again. The lights indicate what the camera's mode is. You find the reset button in the camera. Again, when you're opening the dome cover, do not use a screwdriver. Use the Allen key that comes with the camera to open up these screws. Because if you strip those camera, uh, those screws, we do not have replacements. The reset button is right here. You press it and hold it. Hold it for about 10 seconds until you see this light change its color. Okay, the light went away, turned red, perfect. Now, how to reset the NVR. Have the NVR pulled up on an HDMI monitor. You use the mouse that came with it. Right click on the menu, log in if you have to. You go into operation. Then default on the tab here, system maintain, or system maintain and default, whichever comes first. And then hit factory default and press OK. How did I get there? Go to operation. You're going to probably end up here. Go to system maintain, default, factory default. Hit OK. Put in the password. It's going to do its thing. It's going to reboot. And then you have to initialize it. So for completeness sake, what I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect this camera for a second. The proper sequence is to first have your NVR back on. I disconnected the power from the camera. My NVR turns on and I will initialize it. When your NVR boots up, it's going to display the screen. Set the region to United States. And then automatically it'll change the video standard to NTSC. Make sure it says that. Do not use PAL if you're in the United States. Hit next. Set your time zone. We're in Eastern, so we're going to set that. And then set the password. We recommend you use our standard password, which is one zero. It's on the NVR as well. You can see it here. I'm going to enter that password one zero I capital L T X Y H. Please make sure you are uh, using the correct case. It is a case sensitive password. I'm going to leave the prompt question field blank. Hit next. Then draw this unlock pattern, which is a capital C in reverse. So draw your pattern just like that. You draw it one more time to confirm the pattern. Okay. Then you can set your email address for recovery. We use our own email address just in case a customer loses their email address. You can set your own if you like, but if you lose access to that, there's not much we can do in recovering the password. Because one of the ways the NVR will let you recover the password is by sending a reset code to your email address. And then you can set the security questions. The default ones we use are such. What's the, first, what's the color of your first car, which will be orange? What was the first thing you learned to cook, which will be pancakes? And what's your favorite food, fruit, which will be pineapple? Please be careful with the spelling you put in in the case. They're all sensitive, so be careful of spelling and make sure they're all lowercase. Hit OK. It says auto check for updates. You can uncheck that. And then here, leave it on uh, DHCP, just like so. It should be blue. Press Next. If you want to view by scanning the QR code on the top of the recorder or inside the P2P menu, this is the device P2P code or SN that you need to scan into our app. The left one you kind of ignore. Leave it checked by enabled and hit next. Then it's gonna tell you if you have a hard drive here, it'll list it, press okay. And that's done, you've initialized it. Now that your NVR is initialized, you've actually factor defaulted and brought it to an initialized state. So what I'm gonna do is now plug in the power supply for my camera which I also defaulted, but for good measure, as soon as it turns on, I'm gonna go in and press that reset button one more time. I see the first light, I hold it, 
and I press it down for 10 seconds and wait for that light to disappear. All right, that light disappeared and I came back right on. So if for some reason during this process, the camera doesn't connect, that's how you reset it. Keep doing it over and over again. The camera's rebooting right now and it's gonna go through its state of connecting to the NVR. It may take up to five minutes. Make sure your antenna is connected and it's pointed up. The way antennas talk to each other is they should be pointed up towards the sky. And what happens is the waveform is perpendicular and it talks together. To pair the camera and to the NVR, make sure the camera and NVR are together near each other like so, not like 100 feet away. If you're having issues connecting the camera to the NVR, you gotta have them on a bench top together. Make sure you're using the power supply that came with the camera. This is a 12 volt, one amp DC. Make sure you're using that as the power supply. Nothing else, it has to be plugged into hardwired power. No portable power sources, please. So the camera's LEDs here on the board. They go through a few different stages. So it went from a red blinking to a green blinking. Green blinking means that the camera has found an access point, which is this antenna inside the radio built into the NVR and it's trying to pair to it. I go into wide view and I'm gonna go use the menu, click on right click and then go into wireless pairing. So the NVR itself is doing a pairing sequence and it's counting down, counting down to connect to the camera. And if it finds the camera, it'll list it in there. So for now, my light on the camera turned green. That means it's connected. So if I go back to the NVR, it should in a matter of seconds, start listing a channel number and a device SN for that camera. So before it even did that, I started getting video from my camera and then it listed the device and the SN, I have a successful pair, perfect. And then I can exit out. And there you go. It says, do you want to stop pairing? I'll hit cancel. I'll let it do its thing because I don't want to uh, mess around with it. But that's how you pair, how you reset and pair a camera to an NVR together. Hopefully you found this video useful. Thanks for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.